she's off. Awesome. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Hey lovers, I had the wildest time getting to this beach, but I finally did it. And I was inspired to do a three travel tips that could save your life video. So if that's something you would enjoy, stick around. <laughs> So I'm on the Carnival Magic and this is our second port day and we are at Amber Cove in the Dominican Republic. I think it's a beautiful port. However, it's just way too crowded for me. Like, I can't take all the people. Two ships were docked at the same time, and maybe that's why, because I hadn't experienced that. And no, it's a no for me. We had the Carnival Magic on one side, the Mardi Gras on the other, and then everybody in their grandmother was just here. There are two um, ships here, so it is wild crowd. Like, all these people. I don't even know what they're doing. Like, we approached this waterfall, and I really wanted to just, you know, get my waterfall on. If you know anything about me, then you know that I adore waterfalls. The negative ions they release, the euphoria, and the relaxation, the sense of calm. Like, there's so many benefits from being around water, and I enjoy it. I also got to find out why they call this the Amber Cove. This is a large piece of amber. I don't know the history of it, but I've never seen so much amber in one place. It had fossils encapsulated in this amber like there were people that were scared they're like oh my gosh uh, uh is that a komodo dragon i think it was the iguana but it was beautiful to witness they had a lot of um live creatures everywhere did you see the fish in the pond look at this more waterfalls so i was in my happy place uh whenever i see waterfalls i'm happy even in new york uh at one point i went and i googled every waterfall in new york and i just been trying to visit them <laughs> because i feel like people travel to my city and they're like all in awe and here i am living here and i'm not impressed <laughs> half the time so i started to look at my city more as a visitor or a tourist would and amber cove is beautiful i'm enjoying it so far just a little crowded for me that's my only complaint if i could complain about anything also it's 977,046.312259 degrees okay it's the the mori you are not the father numbers it's hot okay um look at this little amber cove um sign of course i would love to take a picture in front of the amber cove sign but i'm not finna fight nobody or stand in line to do it like i just won't do it i i just can take a little selfie and i'm happy so speaking of happy i'm in a good mood i'm in good spirits i'm like let me explore a little bit and then guess what guess who i'll bump into oh wow hey. i was about to go up there and look for y'all great minds think alike girl i'm like no come on let's go Okay. No, because I figured you were doing content, so I was like, she ain't getting to the pool no time. Okay. You would like I went the to the pool. I and tried not to, like the pool. I tried to get to the okay. beach. I want to go to the pool right now. I'm hot as hell. You know what it is? The pool goes around. Like it's a big circle. Oh, cool. So there's deep parts and then it gets real shadow. So be careful. Oh, well, come on, girl. Miss Mary. Whew. Look at how much I'm sweating. I had to climb a damn near mountain. You know it's a mountain. People are zip lining down this. It's twenty eight dollars to zip line. That's not a lot of money. I don't want to zip line. I'm gonna show you. Oh, she's a kid too. I need, no, my kids can't do this. Five bucks. That's a fast way down the mountain. That's some dirty toilet water over here. All right, now I'm in the aqua zone. Got a private area. I'm not in a private area. Yeah, 
that I won't lie. This was really disappointing for me. There was no place to sit. Like every chair was taken. Some people are just hoarding seats. And I couldn't find anywhere to seat my stuff. So I'm like, I can't enjoy the pool if I have nowhere to put my things. So I left and I said, maybe I should try and take a cab again. I knew the whole time that I would try to get to the beach again, but that was the straw that broke the camel back. So I walked to the cab station and got a van. Where's the rest of your family? Hello? Oh, oh. Okay, okay. I thought you were. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, I don't know them. Okay, okay, okay. Now you're I know. Yeah, I'm just going to the beach. Okay, okay, no problem. I thought there was more of you guys coming. Maybe should have one of the. Yeah. Okay, so we're heading to the beach. I tried to walk. No. I'm in a shuttle that's leaving. No, no, no. Is there enough fish, all of us? But then, like, I was, I didn't know where to go, so I just oh, came yeah, back. Just, all you do is going left, left, left. I'm gonna see you right now. Around this little swamp. Two dollars, I can take it. Okay. Thank you. So I walked all that way, and it's only two dollars to get to this thing. beach. On the right. Okay. Good. And I came around the right people. They know what they're doing. Arguing in Dominican. Okay, we're going to get into my three travel tips that can save your life, especially if you're a solo traveler in just a minute. But for now, let's just walk to the beach and get ourselves situated. Yeah, I picked the right family. They spoke Spanish. They were super kind. And because I rode with a group, I only paid two dollars. Where if I would have went by myself, it would have been five. So not only do I feel safe, but um, I save money. Yes, you can see my ship there. You gotta remember, during this trip, I'm still a first time cruiser, so there's something comforting to me about seeing my ship near and I told my sister too, I was like, I'm not doing no excursions, I'm staying close to my ship. She was like, You gonna change your mind when you get there. But I didn't. I felt safer closer to my ship period as promised here are three things you can do to keep yourself safe when you're traveling solo number one do not tell anyone that you are traveling alone even if they're nice even if they look like you never never tell them you're alone i learned this when i went to mexico i said my boyfriend got food poisoning because people got used to seeing me by myself and they just started to presume that i was alone but i was like no my boyfriend just has food poisoning so he doesn't come out but you know i still want to have a good time so as long as i check in with him everything's okay never tell them you're alone as nice as they may seem you never truly know why someone is asking you that information that is personal information and should not be disclosed be mindful who you tell that to water is beautiful and pristine we can see our toes we can see right through it if you've ever been to coney island or orchard beach then you understand this is a beautiful thing protect our beaches please 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 all right moving on another cool tip that can save your life if you're traveling solo is documentation and i don't mean your passport i mean take a picture of your cab driver's license plate take a picture of their certification inside the cab ask your driver if you can sit in the front i always do this and it helps that i be vlogging so they're like oh yeah sure but i also ask can i take a selfie with you and i make it look like oh i'm just trying to be super cute and i send it to my family and i might let them 
no, like, hey, I'm sending this to my family so that nothing happens to me. You know, they really worry about me. Or I also say things like that often to them. I'm like, oh, wait, I have to take a picture of your license because, you know, my family worries about me. Oh, I have to take a picture of this because my boyfriend is going to meet me when we get there. I don't want him to worry about me. You know what I'm saying? I always like I got this big, strong, muscle-bound boyfriend that will choke you by the throat. <laughs> Maybe I do. You don't want to find out. That's all I'm saying. So, yeah, make sure you get that documentation, meaning document your steps. Send your location to your closest friend or family member. If something feels uncertain, these are the times when you want to do that the most. Don't be shy. Be safe, not sorry. Okay? Ah, 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 ah. Staying alive. Staying alive. The Bee Gees. Alright, this last tip might not be for the faint of hearts, but I'm here to keep it real. I'm not here to sugarcoat nothing. It would benefit you, one, to watch your alcohol intake or whatever you might consume that, you know, it could alter your perception because it's just not safe. It's dangerous. So don't be out here belligerent, drunk, wobbly, drunk, visibly drunk. That is not only tacky, but it, it's not gonna, it's, it can't, it can't possibly end well. I don't even know what nothing nice to say. Just don't do it. Okay. And also be mindful because even a bartender can sleep something in your drink or um or someone sometimes they have people who are at these bars or these um these areas where tourists are and they're just watching them and they're waiting for you to you know become in a compromised position sweetie don't do it okay it's easy for me to say because i don't really drink a lot anyway but even if i do i wouldn't be getting drunk when i'm on a solo travel situation that's that's buffoonery okay please it seems like something that you don't need to say but i can see how it's easy to get carried away and even in this video i'm having a cocktail on the beach one one cocktail mild to moderate cocktail on the beach because i deserve it you know but i'm never gonna be out here drunk by myself okay so i'm absolutely happy that i came to the beach instead of like staying over there by the pool Alcazone. yeah that whole area is it was crowded it was not even like i'm not gonna say it was, it was nice but um just crowded a lot of people there and like i couldn't even get some place to sit down by the pool which is a blessing because then i'll be missing all of it which is better than that see there's not a lot of people the ocean is popping it's warm it's even shit i'm gonna get left like i feel like worst case scenario I'm like i'm right here don't leave me I could illegally climb up the rocks over, over yonder, climb up the rocks and just get back to my ship if I have to. I'm not, but shit. I don't see nobody to stop me. It's only $2 to get a van to take you to, to the other place. I thought it was $5. It might be $5 if you're alone. But like if you were to go up with scrubs. So that, that's excellent. I don't know how long I'm gonna stay out here. I know. Probably just long enough to enjoy my like chunks. Right. Enjoy this memory. I'm so low. Uh, all by myself. Okay, lovers, this pretty much sums up my port day at the Amber Cove Cruise Port. I had a great time. I love my outfit. I love the atmosphere. I love the ups and the downs. Be sure to watch part one and two of these videos because it was a journey. Getting to this beach was a journey, which only made it all the more enjoyable. Yeah. <laughs> I feel really cute in this fit. The hat, too. If you guys want me to share my finds in the description, I can post the links. I just have a whole lot of content coming out. I'm still on um this cruise but i did have already taken another cruise and i've already and booked another i've cruise. been to mexico and disney and there's so much that i want you guys to see but you have to be subscribed so you don't miss out you are part of the tribe remember if you're not a lover then you are a hater but since you watched the video all the way through to the end you did me a big 
favor it does a lot for the algorithm when you hit the like button when you hit the share when you leave a comment and most of all when you watch the videos through so i want to make more, more long form content like this but i'm reading the analytics and y'all don't watch the videos all the way through not in majority oh. so i'm trying to figure out how i can make better content for you and i decided that it would help not only me but others if i incorporated some tips okay because a lot of times me especially we come to youtube for advice for information we want to you know have a little value and not just consume content so i hope that these tips were helpful for you i could think of about 50 60 more because the more i travel the more i learn and even while i'm watching my videos i think of ways that i could have done things differently and better and i just want to improve your experience and make it safer for you as well as myself so i hope that the mission is accomplished there time for lunch Yes, I am here to go back to my boat. So I got a cab from the cruise company and we just started driving. I felt really safe. Of course, I took a picture of his information and all that good stuff. And I took a selfie with him my guy and you know it was a casual ride Chica, please. Yeah. i was hoping i would see the cows again but i didn't get to see the cows again i like that they check your cruise card to come in and also to come out it's a way of like you know counting in, i guess how many people are leaving so they can monitor you and you won't go missing Awesome gentleman opened my door as he should, as he should. I wasn't gonna get out that car. I'm gonna get out that car. They keep the vibes going. I had to give them something. They were so cute. Speaking of so cute, look at this installation. It's very pretty. Just like that, I'm back on my ship. And the first thing I do, get some food. I got an amazing night ahead of me. And I know you're going to want to see it. So make sure that you are subscribed. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, lovers.